Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, we will be discussing at the rate qualifier annotation in Spring Boot. So this is the 13th video in our Spring Boot for interview series. We have covered all, almost all the annotations starting from basic to advanced level. If you are feeling that oh, some annotations we are missing, you are free to drop your ideas in the comment section. If you are a beginner in Spring Boot or you are preparing for the interviews for Spring Boot, this playlist will be very much helpful for you. So if you have missed the subscribing of this channel then do hit that subscribe button right now because more such videos will be uploaded and you are seeing the pattern that okay daily daily, daily these type of videos are getting uploaded on my channel so don't miss any of these updates be on my channel and you will feel confident in the spring boot so i hope you have hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel as of now so let's start this video okay so guys the qualifier annotation the qualifier annotation in Spring is used to resolve ambiguity when multiple beans of the same type are present in the Spring container. It works in conjunction with the auto wide annotation to specify which bean should be injected when there are multiple candidates of the same type. So first of all, I am agreeing that you are getting confused. Okay. So earlier what we have studied, we make a class, we make that class as a component. When we want the, want the object of that class, what we do, we just do auto wire. But now there is new annotation that is coming to picture that is the qualifier annotation. So what does it saying? It is saying so if there are two or three beans of the same type, okay, of the same type, and then we do auto wiring only, simple auto wiring, then we do. So there can be ambiguity, okay, and Spring can get confused, okay, which type of bean we are requiring. But first question is that how will there can be two or three beans of same kind because we know that all the class names in in the java in the spring boot are different so how it is possible that there will be two or three beans with the same name so for clearing this thing let's just move towards the editor and first of all i'll show you that how it is possible then how we can resolve it using the qualifier annotation okay so let's just move towards the editor first okay so till now what we had done we had made a class we had made that class as component Wherever we wanted the object of this class, in that particular class, what we did, we just declared that class and we have given the auto add annotation. By this auto add annotation, what was happening? We were getting the object of that class into this particular object, okay, in this particular variable, and we were using the methods of that class using this particular variable. Okay, that's all was happening. But now there is a case wherein see in this case what is happening when we are doing auto wiring so how spring is knowing that which class object is required in this particular variable so it is matching this name this test rest service it is matching this class name with the available component so here in this case since only one test rest service is present inside the inside the entire spring boot application so it is automatically getting configured that, that is okay we want the object of test rest service so okay there is only one component present for test rest service let's just simply give the object of this class into this particular variable this was the case when uh, only single class is single class of a simple type single type is present inside our spring boot code but now you will again ask that okay so since it is comparing with the help of class names and we all know that class names are different for different classes there cannot be same class names so so how it will know okay so again for this purpose let just first what we do we will just define an interfaces so let me just make a new package uh with package we will name let's just say interface only we will name this package as interface okay in where package it is not okay so interface not uh, let's just say inter let's just give package name inter it does not matter so here what we'll do we will define a interface okay uh, no java class file package oh java class and then we will do interface let's just give this interface as ports this is the name of this interface we know that in interface what we do we simply define the method we simply define the method we do not give methods uh, body of those methods let's just define two or three methods here so public uh what should be it so it should be st uh, string name of that sport okay string name of that sport one method is this it will return the name of this uh, sports next is public then uh let's just uh, return integer and it will return number of players that how many players are required in that particular sports number of players okay it will return integer so in this interface we know we only define we only define the methods not give the body of them let's just make this sports as a component okay 
let's just make this as a component now what we'll do we will implement this interface we know that classes are used to implement the interface now let's just make two classes well, first java class will be uh, first java class will be cricket okay cricket it will be what it will do it will implement sports this interface it will implement okay you will get the error and implement the method okay so all the methods it will be implementing because we are implementing that particular interface let's just give it again the component okay now uh, in this particular these two methods we need to override here because we are implementing that interface so what is the name of the sports it will return let's just suppose it will return cricket and number of players let's just suppose it will return uh, 15 because there is squad of 15 not a string just 15 it will return okay so this is one class that is implementing this sports interface right let's just make another class that will be football okay this football class will also implement sports interface okay so once it is implementing the sports interface it is also it will also implement all the method inside that sports interface what will it return as a name it will return name as what it will return it will return football okay and number of players let's just say it will return 11 okay let's just make it a component also only at the rate component okay now now what we need to do we will make a controller it is just a sample controller only we will make a controller let's just say we will make a sample controller uh, java class sample uh, controller okay we will give this annotation as rest controller as i have told uh, told you earlier what is the use of rest controller if you have not watched that video you can watch it in our playlist okay let's just give uh, let's just auto wire let's just auto wire now that we want see when we uh, we have interface it can be implemented by multiple classes when we make the object uh, object we can like use this uh, interface as a reference okay so in this sample controller what we'll do we will auto wire this interface so private uh, what is the name of the interface it is sports and let's just give us the name sports only okay and we will auto wire this okay auto wire now let's just in sample control only let's just make a method that is a get mapping method let's just make public uh, string it will return and let's just uh, return name of sports this is the method what it will do it will from this interface it will call the name so sports dot what is the uh, name of that method sports dot name okay so here from here what we'll do we'll return sports name let's just give a request mapping request mapping annotation sorry not request mapping we will be giving a get uh, get mapping because we have already studied about this get mapping so it is good that you uh, use, use the latest things only so get mapping and only path we will give so path let's just say we will give sample uh, sample controller okay sorry c we should be small okay so now let's just try to run the application first so i think it should give error at the uh, okay this is illegal character now let's just run it i think it should give the error at this moment only but let's just see okay so see here it has given the error so field sports in this particular controller required a single bean but two were found now see what is happening when we are doing this auto wiring thing it is how spring knows that which object should it uh, give to this particular variable it compares the classes now sports class is being implemented by two classes one is cricket class another one is football class so how this uh, how spring will know that which class object should be give we should either we should give that football object or cricket object so it will be confused here so therefore to solve this problem only we are using the qualifier annotation inside this qualifier annotation we will need, need to give uh, the name uh, we will give the name of the bean that is required okay name of the class that is required but in the camel case we require cricket so let's just give it cricket because it, it will be in the sample uh, it will be in the uh, what we will say camel case that is whichever class we are giving inside this so first uh, it should be in the camel case that football is the name of the class and f should be small you i think you understand what camel case means so now let's just try to run this application and then when we'll hit this controller it should return cricket let's just see if it is uh, working fine or not okay 
so i think application is started and let's just open postman and we'll hit this sample controller okay it is opening i know it's taking a bit time okay it is opened at 1890 control v sample controller let's just send it and you can see here cricket has been printed this is the name of the sports that is given now let's just change it okay let's just change it to not cricket we want that sports this sports should contain the football class object so here in qualify notation we will provide the name of the bean as football okay football again f should be small it is a camel case that we need to give here again let's just restart the application and see what happens okay we will again hit that uh, okay there is an issue here okay so guys the issue was very small we were giving the wrong name we were giving this football but i told you that uh, it should be the name of the class just the camel case and only this uh, it should all the name should be same just that the first letter should be small so it should be foot and b was capital so football okay so now we will run it all the things were as same as we were using for cricket nothing else has changed and if you will now hit that endpoint same sample controller earlier it was printing cricket it will is printing football let me just show you back cricket again cricket okay let's just run it again mm, okay it's starting and let's just again hit the sample controller and it is cricket so i hope the use of this qualify annotation is clear to you it removes the ambiguity okay so i hope you have understood the concept very easily and if you still have any doubts in this video or in any of the video that we have discussed before you are free to comment down and you are free to like and subscribe this channel it is free of cost okay so it motivates me to make more such videos so kindly do the needful thank you for watching this video